promising satellite internet provider OneWeb has declared bankruptcy. And SpaceX shares an update on their upcoming Starlink. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, here to share with you some bad news from the world of satellite internet. As, um, promising satellite internet provider OneWeb, which has been working since 2015 to deploy a massive low Earth orbit constellation of satellites to bring internet, internet to, to everyone, everywhere on Earth, um, hit a major, major snag over the weekend when they were forced to declare bankruptcy. Now, to give you a little bit of background on OneWeb, they're building a network that was going to be nearly 700 satellites in low Earth orbit, um, aiming to give 100 megabits plus speeds and very low latencies to anyone with a very small, very affordable receiving a flat dish. It doesn't even need to be aimed. It's not a dish. It's just a flat panel antenna. Um, OneWeb was one of the first of these next generation low Earth orbit satellite companies that was aspiring to build a constellation like this. Um, and in fact, they paved the way for some of the other ones that are coming along and were well on their way. They had actually just had, in March, their second launch of 34 satellites and they had lined up a monthly pace of uh, 34 satellites a month for the next uh, year and a half to finish deploying their network. Um, unfortunately, they've gotten squeezed from two sides. On one end, um, competitor SpaceX has been coming along with the Starlink system, which has been ramping up at an incredible speed. So OneWeb had a head start, but Starlink has been coming like this. Um, SpaceX has a huge advantage in that they do not need to basically buy a rocket that is then destroyed and thrown away uh, for every launch. SpaceX, they build their own boosters and they land them and reuse them. So SpaceX, huge fundamental advantage. And then, well, the other advantage that OneWeb thought they had was they were the first satellite manufacturer to set up a production line, a factory to build satellites like you would build a car with an assembly line and just mass producing a whole bunch of identical models to build out their system. They built this factory in Florida. It was just ramping up to produce several satellites a day. Um, that was going to be one of their key advantages to make satellites cheaper than anyone. But again, SpaceX has a similar advantage in that they've got the background and uh, of Elon Musk's other company, Tesla, on how to build a mass-produced, high-volume, low-cost assembly line for the Starlink satellites. So OneWeb was facing this very intense competition from Starlink. They're both racing to get to market sometime in the next year, year and a half. And, well, then Amazon's Project Cooper was coming along and announced as another huge deep, pro deep pockets satellite constellation that would be coming sometime even further down the line. So two huge competitors. OneWeb's biggest advantage was they were first out the gate. They were the first to start launching their constellation. They were on track to start rolling out service um, in Alaska by the end of 2020 and uh, around the world by the end of 2021. They just had to get their network finished because a low Earth orbit constellation is useless until you have all the satellites in place. You would not have continuous 24-7 coverage otherwise. But, well, then COVID-19 happened. And just over the course of the past two months, um, as the global economy has gone haywire, uh, the investors who are funding OneWeb have pulled back and left OneWeb basically out to dry. They have no more money to continue operations. They've been forced to lay off almost all of their staff other than a skeleton crew to keep the current satellites from crashing into other things. And, well, now they're going into Chapter 11. And the only hope is that some other company comes along to buy them, save them, but since there's still billions of dollars needing to be invested to complete the network, it'd be very, very hard for some other company to step in at this time. So OneWeb, for the moment, looks like they're toast. Very unfortunate. They were so promising. Um, now, the other big satellite constellation that's in the works is SpaceX's Starlink. Now, Starlink is also gearing up for monthly or twice monthly launches this year. They're launching 60 satellites at a time. They're already up to 360 in orbit and assuming there's not too many delays from COVID-19 affecting launch operations, they're still on pace to be able to deploy limited service sometime towards the middle or end of uh, 2020 and again going on, on nationwide and global in 2021. So Starlink is up to a lot of interesting things and they had some really good news to announce. They've gotten uh, FCC license for a million ground terminals. So that's the, 
the receivers, the antennas that customers will be able to buy. SpaceX has been clear that they're going to sell Starlink service directly to customers. No word on prices or details. All Elon Musk has said is that the receiver looks like a UFO on a stick and the user's manual is two steps. You know, point it at the sky and plug it in or plug it in and point it at the sky. It doesn't matter which order you go. And then you have satellite internet. So what else do we know about uh, Starlink? Well, we'll probably learn more later in the year once they're finally ready to start signing up the initial wave of customers. But at a recent space industry conference, uh, Elon Musk shared a few other details uh, that they're now targeting 20 millisecond latencies that will be suitable for competitive um, online gaming even via satellite, which is very, very ambitious. They're looking at um, very fast speeds. But he also wanted to set some expectations that this is not a solution for urban areas because each satellite passing overhead, you can think of it as like a cell on a cell tower, and it can only handle a certain number of customers. So out in rural areas, Starlink will have you co covered. Out in areas where there's no other service, Starlink will have you covered. But in it's urban areas and cities, particularly until they get to the point of 30,000 satellites somewhere, some way down the road, Starlink will not be able to handle a ton of people in a congested area, um, just by the nature of how many satellites are passing overhead. So. Elon Musk set the expectation. In a place like L.A., they're not going to be able to handle a lot of customers. But for rural areas and for travelers, it's still super exciting. We're very eager to see Starlink come online. Now, we've got a full report on all the latest with OneWeb and Starlink, so uh, check out the uh, information at the Mobile Internet Resource Center, mobileinternetinfo.com, and continue to track this space race coming through. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.